in this um, unit we will be discussing about the fractions, the comparison, the test of the fractions as well as the equivalent fractions, what does, uh, what does that equivalent fraction mean, so we will be knowing about it. As well as um, if there will be any problem then you can ask at any time. So the first thing that we need to know in this unit is that about the equivalent fraction. So what does a fraction mean? First of all, let's talk about it. Suppose a rectangular box is given to you. A whole rectangular box is divided into the four different boxes, right? Here you can see one, two, three, four. Four different boxes are there. And among four different boxes also, the two boxes are seated. Two boxes are seated. So now we are uh, resolving this whole, um, uh, this whole rectangle in the form of shaded and non shaded part so the shaded part are two uh, two parts are there in out of the four different parts that means one part two part three four four part are there among the total four different parts only two parts are shaded so if we um, resolve into the fraction in terms of the shaded box then we have to write two shaded box upon Four. That is that out of four, total only two boxes are shaded. So two out of four is shaded. Okay, like that we have to resolve into the fraction. Here we can see four boxes are shaded out of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of eight, four are shaded. So four out of eight boxes are shaded. Right? We we have to resolve into fraction in such a way as if we have to uh, compare as a um, divide as a shaded and the non shaded portions. Here also you can see there are total 16 number of boxes are there among which only 8 number of boxes are shaded. So 8 out of 16 is shaded. So similarly here 12 out of 4, 24 is shaded. Now the question is that what does the equivalent fraction mean? Here all the fractions 2 by 4, 8 by 16 and 4 by 8 and 12 by 24 are equal in area. They are equal to each other. Why they are equal to each other? Now we need to know that. They are equal to each other because they are equivalent fractions. And how do we confirm it as equivalent fractions? Suppose here it is a 2 by 4, right? 2 by 4 need to be resolved into the lowest form. If we resolve it into the lowest form, then now what we need to do? We need to divide it. Divide the numerator and denominator. Suppose Okay, suppose like, so 2 by, 2 by 4 is there. So 2 by 4 can be resolved into the smallest fractions as 1 by 2. How? Because this 2 will be divided by 2 and 4 will also be divided by 2. 2 to the 2 ones of 2 and 2 to the 4. So it will be 1 by 2. Okay, so it will be 1 by 2. This fraction can be resolved into 1 by 2. Now, if you look at this fraction, then again, 8 1 the 8 and 8 to the 16. So, again here also it will be 1 by 2. If you look at this fraction, then 4 1 the 4, 4 to the 8. So, here also the result is 1 by 2. Now, the final one. 12 by 25, uh, 24 is there. So 12, 1 is 12, 12 to the 24. Again here also 1 by 2. So now we concluded that if by resolving the um, fraction into the lowest form, into the lowest form, if the results are equal to each other, then they are known as the equivalent fractions. Okay? So they are known as the equivalent fraction. And... Um, yeah, I'll be solving with the help of the solution also. So don't worry. So the next is, now how to test the equivalent fractions. If the two different fractions are given to you, suppose 1 by 5 and two, uh, 5 by 25 are given to you, if these two fractions are given and now you have to test whether they are, they are equal to each other or not, they are equivalent to each other or not, then what you need to do, we need to have the cross multiplication of both the fractions, like 1 by 5 equals to 5 by 25. Then what we'll be doing, we'll be doing the cross multiplication like 1 into 25 and 5 into 25. 1 into 25 means 1 into 25 will be equal to 25. 
right and 5 into 5 will be also equals to 25 since both the sides are equal to each other 25 is equals to 25 so 1 by 5 and uh, 5 by 25 are said to be equivalent so this test is correct test of equivalent fraction is correct like that we need to know and always the fraction should be uh, converted into the lowest terms suppose this 5 by 25 we cannot write 5 by, by uh, 5 by 25 itself we have to convert this 5 by 25 into the lowest form like 5 1 is a 5 and 5 5 is a 25 so the lowest form will be 1 by 5 and okay now you can see here reduce 20 by 30 to the lowest terms now how to reduce the 20 by 30 into the lowest term we are taking the fractions of it we are taking the um, uh, factorization we are using the factorization method and now look um, so 2 into 2 into 5 another of 30 2 into 3 into 5 so we took these multiples and we are converting this uh, 20 into the multiples 2 to the 4 4 5 to 20 here 3 to the 6 6 5 to 30 so like that we uh, multiply then after what you need to do we need to cross the uh, like terms here the 5 and 5 is there in both the numerator and denominator if those like terms are there in numerator and denominator then we can cut it down right so 5 and 5 will be cutted and this will a uh, 2 and 2 will also be cut and the remaining is 2 by 3 so the answer will be 2 by 3 here so this is how we have to um, know about the uh, fractions and comparison of fractions means now we have to compare the fractions we can only compare the fractions if they have the like terms if they have the like denominator that means in denominator if here you can see uh, suppose the number is 1 by 2 suppose the fraction is 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 1 by 2 this fraction has got two denominator another has got three denominator they both are unlike to each other so now we have to convert this unlike terms into the like term by taking LCM the LCM of 2 and 3 will be 6 right 2 and 3 will be 6 so now what do what you need to do we need to convert 2 into 6 and 3 also equals to 6 so for converting 2 into 6 we need to multiply with 3 1 into 3 and 2 into 3 so 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and 1 into 3 is equal to 3 so here also we need to convert into 6 3 into 6 so for converting 3 into 6 uh, we need to multiply 3 by 2 so 3 into 2 uh, and 1 into 2 equals to 2 by 6 now only we can compare this 3 by 6 and 2 by 6 since both the denominators are same okay so since the both the denominators are same so when you look at the figure here three portions are shaded out of six and in this figure two portions two parts are shaded out of six so we can say that 3 by 6 is greater than 2 by 6 since the greater number of the portions are shaded here so 3 by 6 is always greater than 2 by 6 by like this by doing the um, denominator same by making the denominator same only we can uh, perform the comparison between the two fractions okay okay so here you can see the example 2 by 3 1 by 2 and 1 by 6 is there now we have to arrange this in increasing order since increasing order always uh, report to the comparison so it is also mean it does also mean about the comparison between this um, uh, fractions whether it is the greater or smaller than each other or not so now these are the unlike fractions 
this three the denominator of all the fractions are different to each other so we call them as a unlike fraction and for making them like fractions now we need to take the lcm the lcm of 3 2 and 6 is 6 so we need to convert the denominator into the 6 for converting 3 into 6 we need to multiply with 2 for 2 into 6 we need to multiply with 3 for 6 we need to multiply with 1 so after getting this result by um, taking the lcm then only we can make the correction then only we can make the comparison between each other so among these 4 by 6 3 by 6 and 1 by 6 which one will be greater of course 4 by 6 will be greater right so 4 by 6 will be greater then after 3 by 6 will be greater than 1 by 6 so while writing in the increasing order increasing order means from the small to the bigger smaller to the bigger